The CLL2 bag trial is a phase two trial in an all comma CLL population and it's based on a concept which we designed um, of phase two trials uh, which evaluate different combination of drugs. And the CLL2 bag trial is evaluating the combination of the BCL2 antagonist Benetoclax and the CD20 antibody Obinutuzumab. Um, it's a sequential treatment. It starts with a debulking with bendamustin for all patients with a higher tumor load. And afterwards, patients receive the combination of the two novel agents um, in an induction and a maintenance phase. Um, in the maintenance phase, MRD measurements are done and once the patient has received a complete remission and MRD negativity, they are to stop treatment. Um, the results of this trial, um, 45 uh, patients uh, started with the debulking treatment. Uh, the others immediately started with the induction either due to contraindications for bendamustin or due to a low tumor load. Um, the tolerability of the bendamustin um, debulking was very good. It, we didn't see any unexpected toxicity. It was mainly cytopenias and infections. Um, the, regarding the induction treatment, there we also saw neutropenias and infections as the most common uh, adverse events. However, we did not see any cumulative or unexpected to toxicities with uh, the combination of the two agents. With regards to the induction treatment, the toxicity was also what we expected. The most common adverse events were cytopenias, mainly neutropenia, thrombocytopenia, as well as infections. Um, other more common uh, adverse events were infusion-related reactions during the first uh, obinutuzumab um, administrations and a few uh, secondary primary malignancies, which were mainly skin cancers. Um, of note, which I think is very important, we only had three tumor lysis syndromes, one during the debulking and one during J101 uh, administration, and only one occurred uh, with the venetoclax uh, dose ramp up at the 400 milligram level in a high-risk patient. Um, the primary endpoint of the trial is the overall response rate at the end of induction treatment, so after six cycles of combination. Um, and we achieved a 95% overall response rate in this all comma population of previously untreated and heavily pretreated patients, as well as patients with comorbidities and uh, fit patients. And also we had one third of patients uh, with high risk cytogenetics, two thirds had IGVH um, unmutated status. Uh, so this is quite nice, but what is very exciting is the um, MRD negativity rate, which was 87%, and there also we didn't see any huge differences among previously treated and untreated patients, and also for the patients with deletion 17P or TP53 mutation, they had a high MRD negativity rate of around 70%.